Hello, I'm coming to you once again from inside our parish church here at St. James in New Alexandria. And we have just finished celebrating the Mass for Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion, and we are embarking on Holy Week. As I mentioned in the homily at our Mass, uh, this is going to be a unique Holy Week for all of us, as the public celebration of Mass and the sacraments are not occurring this time end of the year because of the outbreak. But I do want to assure you that our parish, along with the diocese, is offering many opportunities through our multimedia platform to keep you connected during this Holy Week. I invite you to join us at our parish website, www.stjamesnewalexandria.org, where we are continuing to post our daily and weekend Masses, and we will continue to post the Masses of Holy Week and the Sacred Triduum and all of the liturgies and devotions. I'm really delighted to be able to announce to you uh, that you will be able to also view on our parish website our Tenebrae service, which uh, we are going to do. Uh, it'll be a little different. Uh, I'll be doing it sort of solo, but I hope that it's a great resource for you along with the other resources at our parish website that can help you to reflect on the seven last words of Christ and offer you yet another opportunity this Holy Week to enter into prayer with you and your family. I also remind you that our diocesan website, www.dioceseofgreensburg.org, has many wonderful resources as well. Although uh, our parish buildings are closed at this time out of an uh, abundance of caution and concern for the safety of everyone, our parish bulletin is still available and will continue to be available online at our parish website, along with important announcements, and we will be continuing to keep in contact with you through our digital platform. I've had many people telling me that they're sharing uh, our website with others outside of the parish, so if you're viewing us outside of the parish, thank you for joining us. We welcome you into our parish family and are glad to have you through this multimedia platform. I want to again offer not only my prayers for each and every one of you and the pledge of those prayers for you and your family, but I know we continue to pray for all of those who are affected by this outbreak, and especially those who are working so self-sacrificing to give themselves in the healthcare and the first responders and all of our volunteers, the people who are keeping our businesses that are vital to be open in so many ways. You're in our thoughts and prayers. And also, I encourage you uh, to make this Holy Week truly one that is filled with prayer. It's an opportunity to gather with your family in a unique way and to pray at home as we are united with our Lord in his suffering death, and then next week as we celebrate his resurrection. Uh, we are told uh, that this is going to be a difficult week, and so let us turn to the Lord with fervent prayer, with determination, and with the faith that is ours, and the hope that is always our source of strength. Um, in the homily for Palm Sunday, you'll have to watch it, it's a little bit of a teaser, but I tell a little story about uh, a donkey or a mule, uh, if you notice here in our sanctuary this Palm Sunday, we've placed a little image of the donkey. Uh, it comes from our nativity scene. We all need a little bit of Christmas at this time of the year, I know. But uh, the donkey is a great sign and a symbol as he carried our Lord into Jerusalem uh, for that triumphant entrance, which would then conclude with his passion, death, and resurrection. Uh, our, our donkey here in the sanctuary, I hope, gives us uh, a little sign of hope as well. And so I'm going to give you a teaser. Uh, tune in to our Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion Mass where we talk a little bit about uh, the donkey and the symbolism of that donkey. But in the meantime, I also want to offer all of my heartfelt thanks to all of you who have been supporting our parish in so many ways uh, through your kind words, your gestures, and uh, your wonderful offertory gifts. I have been so edified with people who have continued to support the church in these difficult times. I'm also very, very edified and so happy to report to you that despite all of the challenges that we are facing, all of the difficulties that are before us, uh, our diocesan Lent appeal continues. We've received 75 gifts and pledges for over $55,350. So thank you so much for your generosity in so many ways. Please keep safe. Please be assured of my prayers. God bless you and your family during this holy week. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us.